<clears throat> Excuse me. Hey guys, this is Ancestral Al Messages. This is going to be a general relationship read for the collective sign of Leo. So let's do this. Move it. I need to light another one of these. Sorry about that. There we go. Now we're good. All right, so before we get into the details of the read, let's pray. Great Creator, Father God, Divine Mother, Mother Mary, angels, ancestors, and spirit guides, I just pray and ask for wisdom and clarity. Any messages need to come through for the collective sign of Leo for this, their general relationship read. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, this read can pick up relationships you have with friends, family, um, romantic, past, present, future, since energy is fluid. Take what resonates, leave the rest. It can also pick up your relationship with yourself. Really watch the Libra read. I believe it was Libra. Um, if you um, like my channel, absolutely like, subscribe, or if anything resonates with you on my channel absolutely like subscribe hit the notification bell um if you're a returning subscriber many many blessings to you each and every one of you have really encouraged me forward on this journey so, and many blessings to each and every one of you out there i'm i am blessed beyond words like, I have no words to say how grateful I am for the subscribers I have. So, one more shuffle, and we'll get into the read, Leo. I'm using the mist or Shamanic Medicine Oracle cards. Maybe it was like a 40 and slip with the other card deck. Maybe I should be using that one, too. I don't know. No, I was told to use this one. Okay, and two came out from the top. Crystals, Amplification, and Drum Awaken. Now, Drum, I did read that one earlier. And it's about basically listening to a drum. You can find on YouTube. There are um, videos dedicated to like shamanic music, shamanic drumming. And it really... Um, refocuses you, centers you. Now, I am going to look in the book for crystals and read what it says and then get one off the bottom. Plant medicine truth. Wow, Leo, what is going on here? So let's read from the book. Crystals, amplification, and then we got plant medicine. So crystals is first one. Crystals, you have a natural affinity and attraction to the shiny world of crystals. These conscious allies are happy to assist with healing, connection work, and protection. Crystals have the power to enhance, to strengthen, and to energize. This card is reminding you to connect with crystals on a regular basis. You do not have to go alone, for crystals truly wish to partner with you. Working with crystals will enhance your spiritual connection. You have a natural understanding of the mineral kingdom. Study the use and properties of crystals. Use crystals for journeying and healing work. Set crystal clear intentions to achieve your goals. Wow. So Leo. And plant medicine truth. A controversy means you are not sure what to deem as truth. It's like you have been fed false news. Shamans use plant medicine and journey and work to induce visions and heightened clarity. Plant medicine is a far cry from the synthetic pills and potions abundant today. When plant medicine is passed to you, you have the option to accept or reject its remedy. 
fully investigate a matter before making an agreement. It's time to leave an unhealthy situation. Check in with and trust your intuition. Someone is hiding something from you. Admit the truth before someone else reveals it. Live your truth. Wow, Leo. So, let's pull a few tarot here. Strength, your card came out. And Seven of Wands. I'm keeping both of them. Are you kidding? They're just all jumping all over the place. King of Cups. So I'm still going to do the five off the top, five off of the bottom spread, but I'm keeping these three. I've never had that happen to me before. I'm not like that. I can not jump out of there like that. <clears throat> so Leo, standing in your strength, Seven of Wands is clearing the decks verbally, and King of Cups really not saying how you feel king of cups is very reserved emotional energy and it's um not admitting to how they feel but being very reserved and holding back so let's see what's going on three of pentacles the full queen of wands Queen of Swords, Seven of Swords. This is two different energies here. Knight of Cups. See that? That one doesn't want to come out. Six of Pentacles. Someone is closing themselves off from their social circle here. Page of Wands, Ace of Cups, and Chariot. So... And we'll put these three aside. Move these up. Here we go. So, Strength card, Seven of Wands, and King of Cups. So, this is confrontation with someone. It took a lot for you to stand up to this person and clear the decks with them. But you didn't tell them how you feel. And the reason it took a lot for you to stand up to them is because you have feelings for this person. You do. You have feelings for this person. Um, you have to really speak your truth. But you have to get clarity on what the truth is. And in some ways, I feel like you feel like you did speak your truth. And you didn't because you didn't tell them how you really feel. Like you were, um, Seven of Wands is clearing the decks, and I always say that. But it's verbally telling someone, I'm not going for that. This is, um, basically, this is my line in the sand. These are my rules that I'm living by, that type of thing. A strength card is your guys' energy. So this was standing in your authentic truth. Standing in, basically embracing everything that you are, but still not, still reserving this. And still not coming out with this. But telling them the way you feel. Somewhat. So there was still this energy of needing to tell them everything. You got three of pentacles here, which is teamwork. Cooperation, working on a team with others. Full card, jumping out into the out unknown. Then you got two different energies here. Two different energies. Queen of Wands is that divine feminine. It, there's no gender in tarot. A man can embrace these two energies. So just bear with me as I explain this. Queen of Wands is that Sagittarian energy. This is someone that speaks their mind, doesn't care who they hurt. But when you're truly in this energy, there's a grace surrounding the words. You speak your truth. Is this your energy? These are two different people. So someone that shoots off the cuff, just runs their mouth at any given notice, 
He got Queen of Swords, which is... It's that female that... Or it's not female, like I said. It's, it's the feminine energy of... Very powerful. Controlling. Not controlling, but dictating. That's what it is. So there's this... These two energies here of someone that will speak their truth. The shadow side of it is someone that will run their mouth. And the other one is someone that will um, dictating. Now, two different energies here. They could be male or female, like I said. Um... But one that runs their mouth, the other one that dictates. Why do I feel like this is like work? This could be work. I've already done the career finance reads for each of the signs, but this could pick up relationships, like I said, coworkers, friends, family, um, romantic relationships, relationship with yourself. But I feel like all of this is happening at the same time. Um, standing up for yourself and standing in your energy, but not saying how you really feel and clearing the decks. I feel like that was on a personal level. Like personal relationship. This feels like work maybe. Like you have two people. One that'll just run their mouth willy-nilly. The other one that dictates. But you see they're two different energies. They came out together, so it's almost like they're twins on the workplace. Now, these two energies. You got Seven of Swords. Which is that thief card. Thief card. Someone stealing time, energy from you. That's how I feel with this. Stealing time. Stealing time. Stealing time. Time. So they're putting you in a position where these two energies are coming at you. Is it criticizing your work and just kind of giving you... What is that called? Micromanaging. That's what it's called. Like going over every single detail of your job. This is how they're stealing time. Like you know how to do your job. You have work to do. But then you have these two energies, and I feel like they're purposely doing it. Like setting you up to fail, maybe? Then you have, like you're dealing with those relationships at work. It's like everything's coming at you at once. Then you got Knight of Cups. Love offer, is that coming in or going out? Going out. It's actually coming in and going out and there's it's someone in your social circle friend co-worker no friend someone in your circle page of wands is that message coming in messages being exchanged ace of cups which is bigger love offer and chariot which is fast movement forward now there are three different relationships that you have that's picked immediately up on because I feel like you have everything going on at once. So you have this going on at work. This is someone from your past that you could completely tell off and need to tell off. Like there's this energy here of the sevens, even even with the Thief card, Seven of Swords, it's creating something different in your life. It's Seven is number of creation. So, it, if you have to get to the place where you stand in your roar in order to remind a person of your boundaries and not coming out with the fact that you really have feelings for the person, yeah, this is someone from your past need, that may need to be told off because they're not going to get this. And then you got this work situation happening on top of it. And then you got this. Private life. 
And I feel like this is kind of like a flirtation that's going further. Is it the same person? Now, if this is the that same person, I would question this love that's coming in. Because if this is fast movement forward, there's another seven, and they will send you these messages, and I love you so much, and they just want to move on with it and not go back over what they've done, then that means they're not taking responsibility for their actions. So, like, the boundary needs to be set tighter. Um... Now, if this is someone from your circle, it's in your social circle, I feel like it's that person. The energies are alike. That's the reason they feel alike. Eight of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Justice, Hermit. Yeah someone from your past is this person is it this person this person they are two different energies their energies feel like because it's almost like they're not if you there's certain steps that you go through to get to this energy of like let's move on with this there's certain steps and it's like this person is skipping all of those steps because they feel like this text message of I love you so so much is enough of an explanation for what had happened. That's the reason the energies feel the same. But you got all of these relationships coming at you this way. You got Eight of Wands, which is news coming in. Nine of Pentacles, which is job well done. And I feel like the news coming in has to do with this work situation, with this relationship, these two. Because one is running their mouth and the other one, it's almost like they get you in front of, and see, this is the energy here. The shadow side of the Queen of Wands is like getting you in front of customers and telling you how bad of a job you're doing. Then the Queen of Swords, the shadow side to that is like the nitpicking every single thing you do. So you're dealing with that relationship energy too, which is throwing you kind of off. Because you have a lot on your mind here. So, but I feel like the news coming in has to do about the situation. Nine of Pentacles is job well done. This is basically take a break, put your feet up. Because I think higher ups are watching this. And they're taking note of it. So, I mean, take a break, put your feet up. Then you got Six of Cups. Someone from your past. Five of Cups is nostalgia that's going into your past. Six of Cups is taking a step forward. Coming into the present. But bringing a memory of somebody with you there. So, Six of Cups. It's that past person. Justice. Getting balance. And Hermit. Which makes you go into like this Hermit mode of... Remembering, um, self-reflection, trying to figure out what had happened. I feel like this is, this, these three leads to this Page of Wands, Ace of Cups, Chariot. Leos are the last people to test when it comes to relationships. Because Leos can kind of lead the pri leave the pride at any moment. They're the lions of the zodiac. They can just kind of, they're, they can be by themselves. No big deal. They just kind of leave the pride and they'll just go off. They don't care. So I feel like all of this is like testing you when it comes to relationships. That's what this is. But it's a test. And they don't realize that you can walk away from all these people and not talk to anyone. Six of Wands, Queen of Cups, Devil, 
death and judgment. Okay, listen. This over here, but this is a different energy than this. You got the Six of Wands, and I feel like it's workplace related with this celebration. Like, congratulating you. Pat on the back. Because I feel like this, these two elements over here are being corrected. And it's almost like they're using you as test subject for it. Because they know the two of them are like that. There's two of them that's coming at you. But Six of Wands is about um, public recognition. This is getting patted on the back for something that you've made through. Then you got Queen of Cups. You notice this? King of Cups. Now, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. It's funny that this is work. And then this person pops up with how they feel. You are being tested all the way around with these people. Yeah, double energy. I had the cards upside down. This, yeah, this is how this is making you feel. Devil energy. Because this right here, their feelings come at a price. There's something you have to sacrifice for them to feel or to admit they feel the same way. It's a price. Death card. This is transformative energy. Uh, this is. This is going to bring a change here. Because I think with all of it coming at you at the same time, I think you're able to see. I really feel like you'll be able to see the truth behind this. This um, declaration of love and the fact that it's going to cost you. And this is going to change it for you in your head. Because... There's the judgment card. That's God stepping in, getting the final word in the matter. Because I think he, I really feel like he's tired of watching you go through this. This is a mess. I'd be tired of going through it. And all I did was pick up on it. I mean, so let's pick, let's take a few Green Witch Oracle cards. And that's funny, I was um, shuffling the cards and the chariot card just kind of blew like that. This person, whoever this person is, wants to take off at a moment's notice. Um, but they'll go wherever the wind takes them. Like today they'll want to go with you. Tomorrow they'll want to go here. Next week their mind will change again. Like it's just wherever the wind takes them what they want to do. So, they're not, because it's not like a really stable energy. Like, they're given, given a lot of big love, but at the same time, see, that's the only card moving, is Chariot card. The only one. One more shuffle. Yeah, it's the only one moving. That's so weird. It's the first time I've done that like that. Abundance, 23. That's great. Two and three is five. Number of change. You're, you are abundant. You have abundance. These two, the two energies at work, like I said, are being watched. The abundance isn't going to change. Happiness, marjoram, 15, 1 and 5, that's 6. Listen, 6 is number of community, it's social circle. Leos, like I said, can be happy alone. They can be happy alone. They can. So I don't know why everybody coming at you and testing you with this. It, and the only thing I come up with, and that I feel like, is just so that you can build stronger boundaries with this other person. That wants to break from you. And, and it's almost like you have to, and it's not almost if, you have to pay for their affection. That is not affection. This is from the White Light Oracle deck. I'll pull two cards here. It's a new deck. Yagoni of 280, 285 hertz. 
Um, number 14 card, 1 and 4 is 5. That's also a number of change. I'm going to look it up from the book. 1 from the bottom. Arkin Barbello, number 10 card. 10 is the completion of a cycle, beginning of a new cycle. So let's look this up. Sorry, deck. Hit you against the box there. Okay, number 14. You go neat. Changes in your life, including, including closing doors or missed opportunities, are not going to derail your fulfillment. Realignments are happening based on divine wisdom and timing. You are being diverted from unnecessary obstacles and suffering. Trust in how your life path is unfolding. Stay true to your authentic healing journey because it is working. Whether you realize that or not, significant inner healing is taking place. Absolutely. Stand in your truth. And really, uh, research crystals. Crystals are have healing properties to them. And there are many, many books out there on crystals. Arkin Barbello, number 10. Your biology and gender are creative and powerful means for you to express your soul path. Sometimes you may feel limited by gender constraints or stereotypes, but your spirit can never be restricted or controlled. Embrace the journey of what it feels like to be you in your own body. There is much benefit and healing to be gained through an, an embrace of your life journey, including the deeper experience of the absolute freedom of your spirit. This is about loving yourself. Loving yourself enough and respecting yourself enough to tell these people, just go that way. Go that way. Just no. Just tell them no. Okay, let's pull two cards from the Vintage Wisdom Oracle card deck. Yeah, with this card moving, it's like this person is flighty. Just very, just like. Listening. And. Gentleness. Okay. Be gentle with yourself. Expect that same to come back to you. And if they are not and trying to use you or manipulate you, just walk away from them. But listen to, to your intuition, listen to others as they come to you and tell you something or explain. I mean, keep your ear out because you can also hear someone's intentions by listening to what they have to say. So for the collective sign of Leo, this is your general relationship read, love and light. 